here's how I transform a picture from this to this. So guess what? Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your pictures. As in, you get with that Android phone you have, you can edit your pictures. So all you need to do is download the Hypic app. You can see the Hypic app. You can download it on your Google Play Store or your Apple App Store. I am not certain if it's on Apple App Store, but if it is, good for you. So this is how the app looks like. And you're going to be clicking. Mind you, this um, small random ball on my screen is just to point out where I am clicking. It doesn't come with the app. So I'll click the Hypic app. This is it so this is how the ip pick app looks like and basically you are going to click on import import to import the picture that you want to edit so i'm going to be clicking here so um i'm going to be going to the picture mind you if you want if you want a, a quality if you want a quality edit you should use a very quality picture even though whatever picture you use you can still edit it but if you want it to be given if you want it to, to to be given extra you want people to look at your picture and say damn she ate so you have to use a quality picture so now i'm going to be using a studio picture I was taken but wasn't edited so it, it's a raw picture snapped from the camera it's a camera picture so it's not studio edited so i'm going to edit it to studio standard so i'm going to be using this picture i'm clicking on it so you can see it that um it's unedited you can see that the picture is very quality as you can see the resolution is intact you can see the skin texture and all of that so this is how it will appear on high peak and these are the features that have been given for you to use so we have um portraits we have filters we have adjust we have ai filters stickers and the rest so this portrait is highlighted green so these are all the features you get on portrait when you click on filters these are all the pictures you get and that's how it goes so now we're going to be starting with portraits this is ai portrait meaning when you click on it you give um, the app to automatically determine the edits it will like i do not like using it because the app cannot tell you what you want and you want what you need to edit you know what you want to edit so i prefer to do it manually so we'll be going to the face now you can see this is the face the face you can resize it you can see different things you can adjust the jaw the v-shape but i advise when you are editing you don't want to edit it to look like someone else you want it to still look like you or still look like the person you're editing but a much more giving version so um we're just going to go i'm going to use the nose a little because her nose is not this big and it's looking big here so i'm just going to reduce it you can see i'm um touching the nose bridge i'm just going to leave it at 38 then i go to the nose width and i'm just going to take it to 27 is okay you can see the difference not so much so that's okay by me so now we are going to go to reshape reshape is to you can see nudge to reshape face and body meaning if i do like this the face will twist so i don't want that however i want to adjust to the daily so this stuff it's to increase the size of the circle however i will leave it here because i don't want the circle too big so i want the daily to look really high just to give it that um, full mind you don't let the any edge of the circle touch her face i'm not letting it to touch her face because um if i if it touches her face it's going to of course make her face um um it's going to nod her face and make her face distorted so you can see i'm making the gilly big while i'm making all this other part small you don't need to use this like i said it is up to what you need to edit if you're not tying in your picture and you don't want to adjust any the you don't want to adjust the, the shape of your or you don't want to nudge the shape of 
your face or your body you don't need to use this feature and this place is just for you to know the, to see what you've edited this is the before and this is the after this is the before this is the after so um if i'm okay with the after you can see it did not affect her face at all just the shape of the gilly so since i'm okay with it i'm going to click on the, that it's okay the the yes button so we've touched with shape let's go to makeup what do they have for us so in makeup it has so many makeup um um features will i say features or makeup looks however this looks since she's already on makeup i do not need it because this looks will not align with her makeup and to just look it will look a bit tacky so i don't want that however let me go to contour and just enhance her contour a little bit so i'm going to contour and i'm going to see what they have for us so this is the before this is the after however i'm not liking the after so i'll go to another one to see what they have this is the this is the after this is the before this is the after so um I'll just reduce it a little. So it looks somewhat better. It looks somewhat better. So here we have highlights. I don't need highlights because our face is already well highlighted. However, let me go to blush. I'm picking a suitable blush for her skin. I would use coral. And just to give it that natural you know brown skin um brown skin blush so i i find that okay this is catch light for the eyes however eyes already has a catch light so i don't need that this is the under eyes just to give it some um some extra in case you want that but i don't think i need that so let's 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 leave that this is eyeliner this is eyeshadow this is lenses we can add a little lens to our eyes just something something nice can see this looks a bit natural for her but it's not a must it's not a must so however i'm not going to use it i don't want something too artificial because i want to show you um editing without too many artificial stuffs so so we're okay with this so we click yes the yes icon so yes we are going to skin now so we have all this so um this is poor um but i told you i don't like auto so this is poor we don't need pores because she already has that smooth we'll just smooth it a little bit and take it to 32 um we don't have anything to conceal because our face is relatively smooth so wrinkles we're just going to see if we can reduce any wrinkle she doesn't have wrinkles but she's a young person but it's just that stuff around the nose we're trying to eliminate so you can see the before this is the before and this is the after so there's a little change so this is to brighten the eyes i won't do that here however i'll do it manually in the retouch feature not in this feature which i'll be showing you any moment from now this is matte we're going to make the face matte a little to reduce the excess shine you can see it's already matte this is the before this is the after so it's okay by us so um i want to adjust the brows a little not change the brows but just adjust the shape tilt it a little just to show you you can see but i'm just going to do it a little bit there's really no much difference but yes so this is okay 
mind you just you know explore whatever i'm doing it's not um you know there's no specific um thing that you must do for every picture every picture has different edits so you must always know what you want to edit and adjust but i'm just showing you how it works so we've touched makeup we've touched skin so we are going to retouch this retouch you are able to do it by yourself like with your own hand so this is smooth we've already smoothened her face to an extent so if we're looking at flaws we're going to zoom in and see if there are any flaws so there's a mascara a smudge on her face so um you can see we've taken that out um so there's another smudge here so um trying to make it as neat as possible mm -hmm. so you can see we are making progress so now um what else do we need to remove are we good to go so there's a small line here We'll take that out so that's gone so um we're done with the flaws fade there's really nothing we need to fade out wrinkles we've removed that already we've removed that already so the details you are able to add more details to whatever you need like whatever is looking dull and you need to make it very obvious so we add details to her pupil because i want the pupil to be very bright you can see the difference this is the before this is the after you can see it's looking brighter we we'll add some details to her under lashes so it looks way brighter so we're going to also add some details to the graphic liner so it looks very you know obvious add some details to the tail of the brows so it looks obvious mind you just pinch in the screen to zoom and pinch out to zoom out so we're adding to details to this graphic liner we're adding details to the lashes to the pupils and to the lower lashes too so that's that so for the texture we're going to add, add the same texture okay we have seen a mole on her chest we go to floors again and we take these three moles off her chest so now we're going to add some texture to her her neck and her chest area so it looks as textured as her face and you can see that there is some texture there now so now we've done that now we're going to add some mats reduce the the shine from her forehead from her nose tip and from her cupid bows so the shine has reduced so now um we are good with that so we click ok we've touched on retouch we go to skin tone basically i don't really like using this because i'm okay, already okay with her skin tone and all this will either make her look whitish or too dark so i don't need this this is hair we don't need hair because she's already tangly this is body shape we don't need it because it's a portrait picture if it were to be showing her waist downwards then we might probably need it so here is brush let's see what brush has for us mind you we are still on that portrait we have not even explored others so you can see like this high peak is like a go-to option you know and if you have gotten to this point and you're finding this video really really super exciting do want to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if i'm going way too fast and you have any questions please leave it in the comment section i will be super glad to help you so now this is for skin tone um i don't want to really adjust her skin tone however i like to apply a little bit of highlight to her inner eyes just to make it 
you know stand out so i've done that we go to makeup i want to enhance her graphic liner so i'm going to go to white color let's work with this okay this is very okay so i'm going to go ahead and also brighten her cornea i'm brightening her cornea to make her eyes really sharp and not very dull so i'm brightening her cornea i'm brightening the the graphic liner i'll go ahead and brighten her eyeshadow which is orange so i'm brightening her eyeshadow her lips so that's that so this is for highlighter we do we, we don't really need it because her face is already highlighted so this is okay for me and i'll click okay so we've touched brush body like i said we don't she does uh, it's just portrait so her body is not showing we don't need it this is sculpting to sculpt the brows she gets but um i think we've already touched what we need to do so i don't really need this for this picture so now we go to filters we finish with portrait basically i don't like filters because um because i'm trying to achieve a photo um a studio standard look um filters will just make it look um it's going to make it look basic so i'm not going to use filters so however i'm going to be using adjust mind you we have ai filters we have stickers we have background this um ai filters i don't use it i won't use it for this picture it will just make you look like one of these dolls here and this is not what i want to achieve so we have um stickers you want to apply stickers to your pictures this is background if you want to change the background of your picture for example like this but i do not need that this is text if you want to apply text this is effects if you need to apply effects to your pictures like light and all of that this is to cut out your picture cut it out from its background um i don't want to cut out the picture so um i really don't need all of this but however like i said you can explore so depending on what your picture needs or what you want to add, edit in the picture just explore so now i'm going to adjust and um you can see um i like to put my phone in the brightest mode so i can see what i'm doing so now this is how it is now um okay we'll go to selective later but selective just helps you to select what parts a particular part you want to edit like for example let's say her neck downwards maybe i want to add a little structure or reduce the brightness let's reduce the brightness to fit her face brightness then the contrast is equal so i don't i won't do anything to that so let's add a little bit of structure to it i'll put it to eight so it's not so much the shine um we're going to reduce the shine a little so um so that's what that's all can see this is the before and this is the after so it's okay for me and i click okay so this is ai enhance ai enhance like i said it will automatically detect look at can see i put it on and automatically just um gives me an edit but this edit is way tacky and it's not what i want so i'm going to put it off so this i'm back to my picture now i want to reduce the shine you can see if i reduce the shine it's not so i'm just going to reduce it a little bit i leave it at 16 which is okay i want to take down the brightness because like i said i want this studio effect studio edit effect so i'm going to be reducing it down as you can see it's already given it's given what it should give so um i'm going to exposure let's see what this does you can see um it's 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 looking really cool however i don't want to make my picture super dark so i'm just going to leave it at let's say minus 12 
like contrast is the life of the picture so if i reduce it you're literally killing your picture if you increase it it's going to be too intense i'm going to leave my contrast like that saturation because the picture is a little bit yellowish i want to reduce it a little bit so i'm just going to leave it at minus five vibrance too is also like the life of your picture so i'm just going to leave it at zero um texture my picture is already well textured so i really don't need that so hsl what it does is that this particular colors here you are able to twitch it so if you have um red on your picture anything that has red it's going to be able to twitch only red without touching blue so for now let's go to blue and adjust the gilly and make it much more bright and colorful so okay let me reduce the brilliance and the saturation is going to be 47 the hue okay let's leave the hue at zero you can see i keep twitching it till i get what i want okay so this is okay for me so this is the sharpness the picture is already sharp it's already has structure let's see what the highlight has for us so you can see the highlight literally reduces the highlight on the face you can see what it does and this is how it is when it's increased so i'm just going to reduce it to let's say minus 19 so um shadows what does it do gives it shadow i'll just leave it to minus six then temperature um the, the, i already i'm okay with the temperature so the tint um i'll just leave the tint at eight you can see that so this is how the skin is now you can see it can see that it is it is it is giving what it should give now this is the this is the after look can you see this is the after look now i'm going to be showing you the before mind you this um this thing here you click it to see the before so now this is the before this is what we transformed into this this is what we transformed into this so if you found this video helpful do well to like this video do well to leave a comment and do well to subscribe to my channel for more if you have any questions do well to to um do well to leave it in the comment section i will be excited i'll be excited to answer once you're done you click here to save your picture you can see is written picture saved project saved so you can either go back and edit more or you can share to your tiktok if you don't want to you can go home and it takes you back to um it takes you back to to the home page where you can import another picture and start editing thank you for watching till the end of this video and stay tuned for more don't forget to subscribe